Welcome back, everybody. This is Dave Spider Monkey 2A, and we're back out at the range on another cold, chilly day. We got a new handgun for the channel. I finally did it. Never thought I would. Stick around. Should be a lot of fun. All right, guys. I had told you before, I didn't know much about them i wasn't gonna try it out because i thought it was taboo i picked up a 1911 chambered in nine millimeter i know i know i always said it's got to be 45 acp but for the price i just couldn't pass it up they've got a taurus pt 1911 again chambered in nine millimeter i don't know if you can see it up against me here but it is actually a very very attractive handgun it has the three dot sight system there it's just your basic 1911 but for the price and the options it was either between this or a rock island armory and i went with this one uh they were right around the same price i got it from bud's gun shop shipped to my local ffl just your typical 1911 uh five inch barrel got your safety ambidextrous safety got your depressed beaver tail there that you have to have pressed down in order to pull the trigger i have seen a lot of people get lemons with these where the triggers were like 10 pound triggers i was kind of worried about that this one definitely not oh i got the safety on <laughs> so i was like thinking oh my goodness it is really 10 pounds but yeah probably maybe four or five not too bad again just your standard 1911 just very attractive but we haven't shot it yet let's get to it make sure it functions so with 45 ACP, they're generally a seven plus one. Uh, nine millimeter is a nine plus one. We're just running some Federal white box, I believe. Or Winchester, I'm sorry. Winchester white box, some target rounds. Uh, it only comes with one magazine. That's kind of depressing. But I did order another one. Honestly, I don't remember which is which because it's not labeled. But we'll give them both a try. Make sure they function. We're just gonna practice on some steel here. See if I can even hit anything. <laughs> very accurate right out of the box i hit every piece of steel i was shooting at we had the two up close and the three a little bit further back uh recoil very manageable with it being that heavy heavy frame with only with nine millimeter very very manageable we'll show you the recoil as well but nothing failed to feed out of that magazine uh let's try this other one wow very nice so far I was trying to shoot a little bit faster with that one i did miss a few times but wow uh guys so far i mean only two or two mags through it but i'm very impressed i was very hesitant about picking up a 1911 and nine millimeter but uh, let's put it through some more tests we'll show you the recoil now all right just our recoil test just got a single round in there hopefully i don't limp wrist it <laughs> Like I said, a 1911 chambered in nine millimeter. That's very heavy, and all of that absorbs a recoil. So it just makes it a joy to shoot. You can hardly tell that recoils at all. Very, very nice. But I missed the steel. <laughs> uh, let's shoot some water jugs. All right, so for the water jugs, we want to test out, make sure uh, specialty rounds function through this. We got these federal... Yeah, Federal Premium Hydroshocks. Nasty looking round. We've tested these out on the channel before. They actually perform very well, but I want to make sure they cycle and function through this 1911. So we only got a couple of half gallon water jugs out here. Only four rounds through. Hopefully I can hit them. Uh, we should get some good devastation. <laughs> Not too bad. Didn't look... Uh, Oh, maybe I loaded five. Either that or it didn't lock back on the last round. Shame on me. Uh, <laughs> but practice good or, uh, trigger control there. Doesn't have a hand on the trigger the whole time. 
So, not bad. Uh, definitely very accurate. Let's ring some more steel and finish it up. All right, everybody, there you have it. The Taurus PT-1911 chambered in 9mm. I am very, very impressed. I was always kind of nervous about 911s and 9mm, 9mm, excuse me, uh, not having enough oomph to kick this heavy slide back and not get any stove pipes or failure to feeds, not going to battery, all that good stuff. But I am, I stand corrected. I will be using this quite a bit actually um no failures to feed we put probably 30 rounds through it just now just to make sure it functioned and worked the way we wanted it to now it's starting to snow <laughs> anywho uh yeah very impressed guys uh taurus pt 1911 i've been on a taurus kick lately i have gotten the gx4 that i absolutely loved this one like i said with taurus you get hit and miss but with this 1911, I am very impressed. All right, everybody. This is Dave Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like. Maybe share this video. Hope you subscribe. If not, thanks for stopping by.